Places, please. Last year, I went out for a very popular show that features African American actors. So I was very excited because this is a show that I personally really love and I was excited to go up for it. So I go in the room and in there is the reader and a casting director. The casting director does not look like someone of said skin tone, but that's not, you know, odd. That's pretty normal. So whatever, I go in, I sing the specific song which, just to preface, includes riffs within the song, right? I'm just going to put that out there. It'll make sense later. So after I get done performing the song, said casting director tells me that the next time I go into an audition, I should try acting. That's the reason why people come to the theater to watch shows. Do you understand? So when said director tells me that, I'm in shock for many reasons, right? And I just said, yeah, I understand. Thank you so much, and left. But as I started to dissect what the director said, oh, and then the director also said, you should try not riffing so much. Now, anybody who knows me knows I am nobody's riffer. I am not somebody who feels, honestly, this is me being like very transparent. I don't consider myself a, a riffer or a runner. It's, just, it's not my style. It's, if anything, I focus more on tone because I actually struggled a lot with liking the way that I sound in regards to listening to myself on recordings. So to hear that, it, it was layered with so many things. And I just, I felt honestly very defeated after that audition. I felt misjudged because I feel like the assumption was that I go in and go into auditions with thinking that a riff will save me or a run will give me you know a leg up when that's actually not my mentality at all it's one thing to say you know think about this when you're reading or you know or you find the story within the song I can get that because that's a little more constructive versus I feel like it was a very pointed piece of feedback right and this is something that I I shared with a few people that are close to me but I just wanted to share that if you are a black actor and you're walking into a room with white casting directors it's important for you to know that whatever blackness that you have inside of you is the only blackness that you need to worry about it is not your job to think that you're supposed to fit the mold of whatever somebody is telling you to be as if what you provide is not enough i have struggled with you know people telling me that i'm not black enough or i'm too black and i just feel like who are you to tell me what that is when you're not me you can't tell me that <laughs> because i'm not presenting what you think is black that is not enough for this specific show and I also feel like if a casting director ends up watching my video, you know, online, I would love for you to know that if you are giving feedback to black actors while you're casting a black show, please be aware of the language that you're using, what you're saying, and be aware of the subtext of, of the words that you're using because there are many people that look like me who provide a range of black stories. You don't know me, you didn't ask me, and yet you, you assume that you understood my process and what I was bringing to the room. I, I'm okay with feedback. Feedback is something that I had to, you know, get used to very quickly and I learned that earlier on in my in you know my audition career but I just feel like sometimes these are the moments in that like the one that I had last year that will cause people to feel like they want to quit and to make people feel like there's no hope and, and progress when it comes to Broadway productions this was for something that was supposed to open up on Broadway um, I don't know what the future is of that particular casting and to be quite honest I just haven't kept up with it but I specifically am making this video today because I want to share my experience in regards to what it means to show up as a black person in an audition room please 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 it's taken me so long to not feel like I have to alter my story as a black woman if you are a black man or a black woman you're showing up in front of a casting director that does not look like you know that 
your blackness is ju- is enough. It's more than enough. And if you are a white casting director and you're a part of a black production, please be aware that you are not breaking somebody's soul and their spirit when they walk into that room. Please do not make any assumptions that you understand their musical background. Please make sure that you are fully aware of the scope of the show and what it means. Because to be honest, I didn't go to Broadway shows to see acting. I went to Broadway shows because I listened to the sound recording first. I'm someone who listens to what the music is. I'm a music lover and a singer first. That's what drew me into musical theater, period. And I think for someone to think that we come to the theater for the art. No, everybody has a different story. I hope this, you know, is helpful to anybody. Share down below what your experiences have been if you've experienced something similar. I didn't mean for it to be this long. This is my story. I want to share it. I hope this is helpful to someone, even if it's just one person. And I will see you in the next quarantine with Cube.